I wanted to give you some options, again, something you could wear, and then also gifts that you could give to your mother or a mom in your life. So pretty. So this is my number one. Hi dolls, welcome. My name is Laura Sparkles. If you haven't been here before, we do a lot of things around perfume. I also do branding, declutters, purses, those types of things. So if you like that kind of content, please do hit subscribe if you haven't already. And actually, as of today, we are at 200 subscribers while I'm filming this. This is so exciting, and I know it might seem minuscule <laughs> to other channels or maybe even to you, but to me, I'm so excited and I really appreciate every one of you that has subscribed and really starting on this journey with me. I really do hope to build the channel and it's just so fun. And in honor of that and to celebrate that, I'm actually doing a little contest right now through the month of May 2022. The contest will close May 21st and all you have to do is find my handbag collection video. There'll be instructions there how to enter, super simple, no purchase necessary. <laughs> <laughs> just very basic because I want to choose a winner and one of you lovely subscribers will win a little piece of Chanel. So if you want instructions on how to do that, find my handbag video and good luck. I hope you win. <laughs> so today I want to talk about Mother's Day and perfumes that you could wear for Mother's Day if you're a mom yourself or if you're going maybe out to brunch or you know to do something fun it'll be this coming Sunday as I'm filming and when the video releases. So I want to give you some options and, and really it's kind of a celebration of where we are in the season. We are one month away from summer and it's like the peak of spring. It's also my birthday month. And so I really love it. <laughs> and I'm obsessed with floral, anything floral, perfume, floral, prints, floral, anything, flowers, just, are all around my house. <laughs> I always have live flowers or, you know, cut flowers. I just am obsessed with flowers and this is a time of year to celebrate florals <laughs> and florals and perfume. So many of what I chose today are going to have that floral element. There are some that aren't primarily florals, but I wanted to give you some options, again, something you could wear and then also gifts that you could give to your mother or a mom in your life. And I've picked a pretty big selection of, you know, relatively cheaper, the cheaper end and then all the way up to niche. So, and everything here is still actively being sold because I do have a lot of discontinued things in my collection. <laughs> so I want to make sure that you can go out to the store and grab a bottle for your mom or your grandma or whoever you might be seeing and celebrating the Sunday in case you catch the video in time. So. That's what we're doing today. So a lot of these perfumes are just, you know, more feminine. Um, a lot of them are a little lighter and very appropriate to wear for spring. And there's a couple that are also, you know, a little denser and heavier because spring is one of these seasons where it could be freezing cold or, <laughs> you know, really warm. So I wanted to give you some options of what you could possibly wear for Sunday or to give to your mom and they're all very elegant beautiful bottles and I kept that in mind too and they just give me this vibe of of moms and of of the season and they all feel so lovely like my heart really feels like warm just thinking about <laughs> about them and about mothers and and maybe this is too much to share but I've, I've mentioned before that my mom passed a few years ago and it was this tragic situation my grandmother passed at 90 years old and my mom, I don't think she could take it. And this, again, maybe this is too much information and I don't want to be a downer. This is a really lovely time of year, but just so you know uh, my story a little bit. So my mom could not take the pain of that and she passed within like four weeks of my grandmother. And it was this tragic thing that happened so quickly. It wasn't intentional. I think she just died of a broken heart, honestly, and it's very sad. It makes me want to cry. I miss her dearly and my grandmother too. And so if you have your mother in your life and you can go give her a hug and buy her a beautiful bottle of perfume, please do that. I really do want to celebrate, um, celebrate the day and help you celebrate the moms in your life. And if you are a mom, I know it's hard work. I'm a mom as well. <laughs> it's 
not easy. So maybe you could just buy yourself a bottle of perfume. It, that works too. So here we go. I have 10 bottles picked out for you and then an honorary mention. And I'll start with that, just speaking of my story. So, and I've mentioned this in, in other videos too, that um, this honorary mention was my mom's perfume. I really, really miss her. I'm sure if you've lost your mom, you know. <laughs> Anyways, I want to dedicate this video to my mom and and I chose, you know, this honorary mention is a perfume she used to wear. It's Poison and it's the vintage Esprit de Parfum by Kristen Dior and, you know, from the 80s. And every time I smell this, it just reminds me so much of her. So that's my honorary mention and <laughs> not something that you would go buy I'm sure um nobody would probably wear this in this day and age <laughs> it's very heavy you know incense plum it has like 75 notes it's insane crazy monster beast and it's just so my mom so just to honor those that have lost their mothers and maybe you have your mom's favorite scent and and you could just you know enjoy her memory through perfume isn't perfume is crazy it's like the smell the everything it just takes you to those memories it just transports you right to these different places and times and memories and so maybe today if you have lost your mom go grab her bottle of perfume and just honor her today if you can okay i'll be back okay i'm back and i do want this video to be something lovely and i don't want it to be a downer i just if you have the opportunity to hug your mom and to talk to her and to be with her please take advantage of that and please don't let that time pass away because it can be so fleeting as we know and the perfumes I picked today really are just all very celebratory and feminine and classy and I think that's the common thread really they're all very elegant and classy and lovely and and honoring um yeah that's kind of the vibe that I was going for and you know, a lot of floral and and that type of thing. So again, if you are going somewhere for Mother's Day to celebrate or if you just need a gift, this is the lineup I chose for you. And I've ordered it from least expensive, you know, kind of, and not like exactly least expensive, like 10 to one, but um, kind of that range. And depending on if you get it on the gray market or full retail, obviously that'll change the price, right? And the price points <laughs> that you're dealing with, but. Um, so keep that in mind if it's something you want to go, um, go out and buy and get a gift for your mom. That's how I arranged this video. Okay, so the first one I want to talk about today is Gui Mauve by Reminiscence, and this is their Les Notes Gourmandes. <laughs> I've only taken very little French, and clearly it hasn't paid off. <laughs> Les Notes Gourmandes, and it is a very lovely, powdery, it's... It kind of has the same vibe as Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. It comes in this beautiful pink bottle. I mean, I also, in this video, tried to think of perfumes that would be gorgeous gifts. And for, you know, whatever price point you get it at, I, I know some sites sell it for like $40 or so. It's so beautiful. It has this little bow and the gold, you know, writing. Just gorgeous little bottle. So totally worthy of any mother <laughs> like I'd be thrilled to get this as a present for Mother's Day so it is kind of like love don't be shy it has the same vibe that like neroli vanilla orange blossom type of vibe and maybe more neroli I'm getting here and then it has to me the difference is it definitely has a lot more almonds and kind of these green aromatic notes also Yeah, uh, things like lavender, mint, pedigree. It presents a little fresher than Love Don't Be Shy, and I kind of like it. To me, it's a little more interesting. I feel like Love Don't Be Shy can be so sickening sweet 
to me and actually have decluttered it. I had a full bottle and I don't anymore. I do have Love Don't Be Shy Extreme <laughs> that has a little more rose, but um, this is a good alternative, much cheaper. It does turn, you know, a little powdery at the end, so you have to like that. And again, actually, this lineup, a lot of the perfumes I chose have that classic structure and a lot more powder, and that might be common for this video. And to me, this felt like a mom. <laughs> like, you know, this powdery, lovely, well, to me, it's like a welcoming smell. And not pretentious, you know, just welcoming, humble, but still feminine and girly. So that powdery smell is here for sure, the powdery note. But it does get, you know, more a little more nutty and woody than Love Don't Be Shy, but I think it's a great bargain for the price. Delightful. So delicious. Totally appropriate for this time of year. Again, it might be this one might be a little heavier for the weather, depending if it gets really hot where you are this time of year. I mean, it's definitely a cooler weather scent, but like right now I'm having a cloudy, cool day here <laughs> where I am, so it would be appropriate for today for sure. Okay, so the notes on this one, on the top, almond, lavender, mint, rosemary, tangerine, orange, green notes, sea notes, bergamot. There's a lot, you guys. <laughs> Middle notes, neroli, pedigrin, jasmine, black pepper, and then the base, vanilla, tonka bean, musk, sandalwood, ambergris, patchouli, and cedar. And it really is a very complex, to me, it's a very complex scent. And something that I really enjoyed from the moment I received it, I sprayed it on me and I just can't stop spraying it. <laughs> like it's really, I think it's so interesting, so complex, so much development through the wear time. And it lasts a good amount of time for me, I would say a good eight hours easily, maybe even more. But it does turn, you know, a little more powdery towards the end of its wear. So this one would be lovely. I would enjoy getting this for Mother's Day and <laughs> one of the 10 that I'll recommend for you, either to wear or to gift. The next perfume I chose for Mother's Day is Mon Guerlain. And this one, you know, a lot of people wear it, talk about it. It's not some secret gem necessarily. <laughs> Like, it might be for you, I don't know. But um, to me, this one is, like, perfect. It's been known and called the wife scent by some very popular YouTubers. And to me, it also is more of, like, wife but also mother scent. It really is. And I think maybe because it's so calm and lovely, and maybe because of the lavender note that it has, which, you know, isn't used as often in female perfumes or, you know, feminine perfumes. And lavender, so the notes, I'll just read you the notes now. The lavender is on top with bergamot. Then the middle you get iris, jasmine, and rose. So at the base is Tahitian vanilla, cowmarin, which I've never heard of. It looks like tonka bean to me if you look at the notes. Um, Australian sandalwood, licorice, benzoin, and patchouli. And I'm getting that, right now I'm getting this licorice on the paper anyways. It definitely wears differently on my skin when I've worn it, but it's really just a lovely, calming, centering. I get a lot of floral from it too. I mean, that is listed iris and rose. But it's just this feminine, sweet, calming, nurturing, lovely perfume that I would definitely recommend to get for your mom or to wear on Mother's Day. So that's Mon Guerlain. Definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. And if you're watching to try to find a gift for your wife or something like that, this might be a good one to get. Okay, the next perfume I chose for Mother's Day, either again to wear or as a gift, is Elie Saab Le Parfum. And this is just a very lovely, it's actually kind of complex, I think, especially for the price point. It was, the nose behind it was Francis Kirkjian, which isn't it weird not to say MFK? <laughs> Maison Francis Kirkjian, that's his house, Maison Kirkjian, and it's just really, I think it's really unique for, especially for the price, and it is, it is this fluffy light, but then it still has some sweetness, kind of a white floral, all right, the top note is African orange flower, in the middle you have jasmine on the base, white honey, patchouli, rose, and Virginia cedar. And it's really this, that honey comes through, to me it's almost a drier honey, it's not, 
super thick like Scandal or overpowering. It's just, it's there for sure. But it offers this really lovely kind of light sweetness and I think it goes really well with the white florals that are here with the rose. It's just a light, fluffy, lovely, light floral with some complexity, some interest. And it's something that I had thought about decluttering when I first got it some months ago, and I'm really happy that I kept it. And again, I don't know if it'll make my top 50, but it is definitely wearable right now for spring if you're watching this as I'm producing it. It wore much different in the winter and it was something that I I wasn't as into. So again, a little tip I might give if you are looking at decluttering or you're not sure of some fragrance, keep them for some time and play with them and hold on to them and experience them during the different seasons because it's so key. It plays such a huge factor. And really, these perfumes I'm looking at right now are just so spring appropriate. They all would wear fantastic right now. And this does. And I've noticed too that I'm really craving this honey note and I think because we're I mean spring right the birds and the bees and all these things and and it's happening right now <laughs> and I think the honey note really is something that in nature is just happening during the season and I do love part of who I am and what I love to do is to celebrate where we are in the seasons and where we are in life and nature and kind of get that connection and that celebration happening so I feel like this does that like this is really a celebration of spring and what's happening in nature and around us with the birds and the bees and all of that's going on <laughs> in that way um, maybe not the birds and the bees because that might imply you know mating <laughs> but I guess that's happening and this would be fine to use for that situation also but I should say the bees you know with this light honey note and the floral it's really good and I, I say that about so many but it's really good <laughs> like really so wearable so delicious for spring I would this this totally gives me like brunch vibes it's not overpowering it won't offend you know if you're going to meet your family in a large group it's not going to be offensive it won't overpower the food if you're having a, a nice meal for Mother's Day. It's just lovely and light and fluffy. <laughs> it's a light, fluffy, honey floral. Very interesting. That's Elisa Le Parfum. My next choice is one of my favorite houses, and I actually discovered this house from this very perfume. I was out at Neiman Marcus, and I had a lovely SA that was helping me, and I kind of explained the scent profile that I love and she was very knowledgeable and she led me here and the rest is history. <laughs> so this is Ubigant, a lovely perfumery house. It's not spoken enough, I don't think, in the community. It was, I don't know when it was established, but this is 1912 was Ubigant, the Le Original. This is a flanker that was, you know, a more modern release. So this is Ubigant, Keke Flor Royale and it is lovely this time of year. I actually wore it yesterday earlier in the day and it's just this wonderful again more classically designed this this was almost I considered it a signature scent it is so not, not that I don't know if I can have those anymore because I have so many to wear and smell and experience it is remarkable to me this is for a very elegant woman I feel like the first three that I mentioned could be worn by any age group. And again, perfume doesn't have to be, you know, associated with age or gender, what have you. But I do feel like this is for a more mature woman, whether she's younger or older. I love that. I don't know why this is not spoken of more. It is so lovely. It starts with this, and I'll read you the notes. So the, at the top is grapefruit and Sicilian bergamot. Then the middle you get white mimosa honey, Indian tuberose, Moroccan rose, Egyptian jasmine, at the base, orris root, sandalwood, amber, white musk. And I think it just does everything that I love out of perfume. <laughs> the rose, rose is like my jam, and tuberose, I adore both of those. Jasmine, yeah, I'm a big fan also. And like I've said, I've been craving this honey note. And it's here, and it's so delightful. And this, to me, is a lot different than the Ellie Saab, so that's a little more lighter, fluffier, less 
not that this one is serious, but it it kind of lends to this more mature, elegant woman that is kind of no nonsense. This is a no nonsense perfume, <laughs> in my opinion. But it still has, you know, some it has some lightness to it with the citrus and some approachability, but then it is like you don't mess with this woman who's wearing this perfume. It's, to me, it's like very French. It reminds me of a, a lovely French woman, very put together. It's so lovely. And some people, like I've read some reviews and people say like, oh, it just feels kind of basic. To me, it feels not basic at all. <laughs> it feels very complex and so composed so beautifully. Just a one of a kind. I adore it. I absolutely adore it. And again, the honey, for this time of year, I don't want this big honey bomb, again, like Scandal or something. It is just perfectly there. It's also, again, another kind of calming, more nurturing scent. And I think many of the the perfumes I chose today are that, just because that gives me mother vibes or something you want to wear around your mom or around your family. It's just so lovely. So lovely. If you like classic perfume, I would definitely recommend trying this. And again, I found this at Neiman Marcus, so this will be one that would be easy to get your hands on. So that is my fourth choice. And again, these aren't ranked in order of preference. They're actually ranked in order of least expensive to most. <laughs> so, Ubigant Keke Flor Royale. Delightful. So delightful. So, check it out. Okay, my next choice is a little more of a freshie. I mean, the ones that we've done so far have been not necessarily heavy, but um, not freshies either. <laughs> so, the next one is a lot more light and fresh, and it kind of gives you those vibes. So this is an Aqua Allegoria by Guerlain, and this is Flora Sauvagia, and it's this beautiful purple color. And again, all the perfumes that I chose today are really these beautiful bottles, and to me, like, so feminine, so gorgeous, like pinks and purples, and this one too is beautiful, this beautiful purple juice, just a nice light. It's so refreshing. So I actually wore, yesterday I wore my Ubi Gaunt Keke Fleur Royale, and I finished the day after, you know, it had worn off. I chose to wear this after, and it was perfect because this uh, Keke Fleur Royale can be, not that it's heavy, but it's not, like, uplifting and bright and cheery necessarily, and this was, and it was exactly what I needed after a long day <laughs> yesterday. And it's just this lovely, very much watery notes and it's almost like the rind of a watermelon or the juice, like just a very light, juicy scent with melon. Maybe not watermelon, but more like honeydew melon, cantaloupe, especially at the top. So in the notes, I'll read to you. The top note is a watery note, violet, melon, and wildflowers. And then at the middle, you get solar notes, jasmine, orange blossom. At the base, violet, iris, and white musk. And it does... It does dry down pretty musky on me. It's something that I'll wear to go dance or to the gym or some, if I just want something refreshing that I know is not going to last. We know what these aqua allegorias that they won't last. That's just part of the thing with them, right? You know, maybe two, three hours tops. And I spray the crap out of this, like overspray <laughs> before I leave the house typically, even if I'm going to dance or something like that. So they're very non-offensive. Again, it would be perfect for a brunch. It does remind me of maybe some body sprays I wore back in high school and college, those days. I mean, more high school, probably, but it doesn't list cucumber, but I must get a little, you know, cucumber freshness from it. And then it does have some powderiness with the iris and, and those purple, you know, the violet coming through too. But it doesn't, so I have Guerlain's Insolence. It doesn't have that vibe to me. Like, it's not super violet -y at all. Like, it just really feels very floral. And not floral like you're walking out into the garden necessarily, but it reminds me, you know what I get in my mind <laughs> when I spell this? And perfume is so interesting because to me it just gives me these vivid images and pictures and, and places that I am, you know, just again transports you through your olfactory sense. 
but I get that I'm this little itty bitty fairy or something that's like on the back of a bee that's flying around <laughs> the garden and you could smell like the fresh flowers and as he's like crawling into them and gathering his pollen it almost has that vibe to me which <laughs> I don't know why that popped in my head but it's like you're on a little adventure with a bee through the garden <laughs> and getting to smell the flowers all up close but maybe in the morning time where it's still you know moist or or dewy from the evening rain or something it's because it is very light and and all of that and maybe there's a fruit garden <laughs> where you could smell the fruit there as well so this is again aqua allegoria by guerlain this is their newer one of their newer releases the flora salvagia so definitely worth to check it out if you'd like something fresh um maybe it's almost really safe if you because not everybody is going to want this very complicated heavy or even more classic perfume if you know like your mom is just wants something fresh and light and fun and not super into perfumes like this feels very approachable to many and and might even come across a little juvenile i think it is still you know more balanced and more defined and it's not like a body spray but it does give you those vibes like refreshing vibes that all these aqua allegorias do <laughs> which we love them for and just bring the bottle with you because you're going to need to reapply it if you're out for the day so still worth checking out okay so the next perfume i chose for you to wear on mother's day or to buy as a gift for mother's day and it wouldn't be a fragrance video of mine if i didn't speak about this line of perfume <laughs> this is erin which is so underrated i have hibiscus palm which many of us have heard of and it's absolutely amazing and it's the only one that people talk about or hype up but so many of their other perfumes are gorgeous they do florals so well so please do check out erin and it's Erin Lauder, the granddaughter of Estee Lauder, her line. So this is Garden Rose, and this is their cologne. And it's such, first of all, it's such a beautiful bottle and has this gold cap that's also magnetic, which it just elevates it to me instead of having like a little plastic cap or something. You get this massive bottle. It's like 6.7 ounces of cologne. And I mean, you kind of need it because <laughs> it is a cologne, so it's meant to be very light and you know, kind of a refreshment out of the shower or to wear, I do wear it to dance or, you know, anywhere where you don't want to be offensive. But, and it's interesting because rose typically can be a lot heavier, not always offensive, but it's not something you'd think of to wear to the gym necessarily. <laughs> but this is just done so light and so refreshing. And it's really just a true rose. It really is a true rose. It reminds me, so there's a Gucci perfume I had a song for the rose and that I've since decluttered but that again was the closest thing I found to this it's just a very true rose not overly jammy not spicy it's just rose a true rose <laughs> how many times can I say that it's a true rose <laughs> and the notes this won't surprise you the, the notes are at the top rose and geranium at the middle white rose Bulgarian rose May rose English rose and then at the base amber sandalwood and musk and even when it dries down to me i just get rose that's it rose plain and simple <laughs> rose and again it's just so light and refreshing and could easily be born any occasion and not choke anyone out <laughs> even if they hate rose because a lot of people do i get it but Rose needs to be talked about. This is a Mother's Day video, for God's sake, so <laughs> Rose needs to be talked about and worn on Mother's Day. It's just this time of year, and it just reminds me of Mother's Day. So that is my next choice, Erin Garden Rose, the cologne. All right, the next one I'm actually wearing today, this is another favorite house, too. I've come to find I have a few of their perfumes, and all, I think there's four, maybe five that I have are all... I think they're all gonna make my top 50. They're all incredibly done. So amazing. Okay, and this perfume in particular is, this is more on the pricey side. Now we're definitely getting into more niche pricing. And if you know your mom, for instance, loves the scent profile, this would be a great gift. It is a rose musk and it's Pure Extreme by M. McAuliffe. 
And they talk about being, you know, artistry and perfumery, and they are. <laughs> I think they are artistry in perfumery. They're all balanced so well, so beautiful, so complex, and just blended to perfection. Their bottles are gorgeous. And this perfume too, this, this is another one that I considered a signature scent for a while, and I'm wearing it today. It is so lovely. It gives me kind of 90s vibes maybe, like that era. And, and it does have some similarity to Chloe, but it's just so done so well. I get so many compliments when I wear this. I think it just really matches my vibe personally, and it's just rose with musk, really. It's rose and musk <laughs> with some white, white florals, and I'll read you the notes. It's at the top, rose and gardenia, in the middle, jasmine, and at the base, white musk, precious woods, and amber. So this thing, you just do a, you know one or two sprays, and to me it just stays with you all day long. It lasts like crazy. It's not incredibly like projecting like crazy, but it's there. there. There's a presence once you spray it. You have your own scent bubble, but it's not overpowering. Maybe that's why. I do feel like it projects pretty heavily, and it just stays with you all day long. And it's just this gorgeous, refined, it's like a refined Chloe, <laughs> but so much better. It's like the older, more put together, more experienced, uh, more refined sister of Chloe, <laughs> I would say. There's nothing screechy about it. It is just, it's just so elegant, so beautiful. Very appropriate for Mother's Day, for sure. I think, um, again, unoffensive, definitely a celebration of the season with the floral and the rose, and yeah, it's just elegance. Elegance, beauty, refinement, but still, there's still something fresh and young about it, too. So that's another choice as a great gift or something to wear for Mother's Day, Pure Extreme by M. McLeff. Okay, so the next one is definitely talked about a little more than some of these on the list here, and maybe not this flanker as much, but this is a gorgeous, if you want to like wow your mom <laughs> with, or your wife, or you know, whoever it is that you're buying for, this bottle, this made my top 10 prettiest bottles list, and this one in particular, this is Delina La Rose by Parfums de Marly, and the bottle to me with the frosted glass and even you know the little jewel on the top and the relief on the front it's so gorgeous this would would it i mean if we were to get this as a mom this would just wow me <laughs> like this is so pretty and if you know delina it's that beautiful rose lychee but then with the la rose you get a lot of these watery notes too so it's fresher but it's not like it has nothing to do with aqua allegoria the Flora Sauvagia. They're absolutely, I mean, obviously this one's, you know, more violent and iris, and now I'm picking that up more on the blotter. Um, it's not that fresh. This, to me, because you get that lychee still, it still is a lot stronger, I would say. The notes, I'll read them to you, are lychee, pear, and bergamot at the top. At the middle, Turkish rose, peony, watery notes, and floral notes, and at the base, white musk, woody notes, and Haitian vetiver. And it is like the little sister of Delina, for sure. You definitely get Delina, you get that lychee, you don't have the rhubarb, but you do have that that uh, lychee, kind of this brightness of the opening with the pear, and, and then it just comes into the rose, but then you get a little more freshness to me, so I chose this over Delina for Mother's Day just because, you know, we're in spring, it's a little lighter still, it's not quite as loud as Delina. And to me, Delina can be a little trickier to, to wear, like it, it sometimes can give me a headache. This one's much more approachable, but it's still, it's still there. It's still strong. <laughs> it's still like the thing. So if Delina challenges you in any kind of aspect like that, maybe try La Rose because it's just a little lighter, gentler version of Delina. <laughs> and then Delina Exclusive, that's a whole other story where you get a little more depth and vanilla and those types of things, but I think there's a Delina for anyone. <laughs> Maybe not. If you're not a fan of rose and, and lychee and kind of this brightness 
with the rose, then maybe it's not for you. But it is just lovely. It's a lovely, and the bottle is so gorgeous as something to give for Mother's Day. So, and you will pay a pretty penny for it, but, <laughs> but I'm sure the woman in your life um, that you're buying for will appreciate it. Okay, so we have two more. The next one, and actually I'm looking at, at the choices here, and I did have two from Guerlain and then two from this house as well. So this is another Ubigant. The bottle, you guys, I mean, this is just Mother's Day with a pink ribbon and bow. This is Essence Rare by Ubigant and another very classic composition. And this one's so unique. It is rare, you know, peculiar almost. It is so unique, the notes, I'll read them to you. Lily of the Valley, Iris, Rose, Jasmine, powdery notes, and again, you know, more classic in that way. Mandarin orange, sandalwood, oak moss, vanilla, and amber. And it is so interesting how this one plays out on your skin because you don't typically find jasmine with iris, with rose, with lily of the valley. Like, it's just such an interesting combo, all these different floral notes together because you have the, you know, the sexiness of the jasmine, but then, you know, the elegance of rose and a little sweetness from the Lily of the Valley. And to me, that's one of the quieter notes. It's just so interesting. And then the iris there too. And again, with that powderiness, it's so interesting. And I must get something a little indolic. To me, I must get some animalic notes and maybe it's the jasmine, maybe it's more indolic, but it definitely has like some earthy, and it's interesting. It's not, this is not for somebody who wants something super modern. This is very classic and something, a bold, elegant, refined woman would wear. And not that they wouldn't wear modern stuff as well, but I just picture somebody, again, very put together, very poised, but not afraid to make a statement because this is not just like a quiet little <laughs> mouse of a perfume so interesting it's so interesting and you might be able to find this i don't know if they carry it like at neiman marcus or something like that but if you could smell it please do it's very unique this is definitely you know a woman who's gonna make a presence when she walks into a room and just somebody who who's her own she knows who she is in her skin she's her own woman for sure nobody else will be wearing this i mean i'll just be not nobody, no, nobody, but you know, this will be her own signature scent. And I think it is actually signature scent worthy, which many of these are. It's just really beautiful. It's something that I haven't come across before. It's very interesting. So one thing though on my skin, so it does have good lasting power. I could go a good eight hours or so. The sillage though, the projection really depends on your skin chemistry. Cause for me, and I've heard, you know, this is talked about with other perfumes, like one that's more popular, BR, 540, Baccarat Rouge 540, people say it kind of comes in and out and they can smell it, then they can't on their own skin. And I get the same thing with this. It's really kind of plays hide and seek with my nose. And so I end up like over spraying it. So then I'm really probably <laughs> walking into a room with a presence because I sprayed like 20 sprays of it. But that, I think that just is my skin chemistry. So, and maybe how my nose interacts with the fragrance. So check it out if you're into a more classic perfume and let me know what you think if you do or if you know about it it's just so just so unique so unique so if your mom is into fragrance and classic things <laughs> she might like this one okay so my last choice on this list is another floral and I told you there are gonna be a lot of florals <laughs> so if you like florals hope you enjoyed this and found some new ones to try and if you don't maybe it'll open your mind a little to try them out. So this last one is Gardenia by Chanel. This is part of their Les Exclusives line and this is the EDT. I'm fortunate enough to have one of the discontinued EDTs. I still have quite a bit left. This is so beautiful you guys. If you like Gardenia, please try this beauty out. It's just pure, just like we had this pure rose with the Garden Rose by Erin. It's pure Gardenia with maybe a little greenness to it but really it's a gardenia. Gorgeous. This would be beautiful as a bride to wear. Oh, it's 
it's almost magical. It's one of these goosebump moments. <laughs> and it's a pretty heavy price point. I think it's, they're going for $400 as I'm filming this, but you do get 6.8 ounces and this is, you know, US pricing. So the per ounce price is not crazy because you get a lot and you don't need to spray this, even though it's the EDT, it still, to me, lasts all day on my skin. I've heard some people say in reviews that, that it kind of plays that hide and seek game with them, but for me it doesn't. It's there with me all day. It's not overly loud. It doesn't project and fill a room for me, but it's just there with me in this lovely little scent bubble all day long. And it's just beautiful gardenia. Gorgeous. So the top notes on this, orange blossom and green notes. In the middle, you have gardenia, tuberose, jasmine, and fruity notes. And then on the base, coconut, vanilla, musk, sandalwood, vetiver, and patchouli. And I don't get any of that, I just get gardenia. <laughs> like really? A little greenness and then gardenia all day long. And it doesn't even dry musky on my skin either. You know, like this Pure Extreme does, this is very musky or even the, Ale Ale the Aqua Allegoria. This one is just gardenia spring. Lovely gardenia all day long. So I would definitely recommend wearing this for Mother's Day and also to give as a gift. So that's my lineup guys. Very spring. I told you very floral. <laughs> I hope you get to give your mom a great big hug if she's with you still this Mother's Day and you know if your wife if you have children please do treat all the mothers in your life so well. If you're a mom thankless work. You deserve a lovely perfume. <laughs> so I hope you can enjoy one of these beauties and We'll see you next time. Make sure to like the video on the way out and thanks so much. Kisses.